What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another best tweaks of the week video. So this is basically just another video showing you the best tweaks that have been released the past week. Now I've been doing this the past couple of weeks and you guys seem to be enjoying it, and I've kind of strayed away from doing a single tweak review of all the smaller tweaks. So definitely let me know in the comments below as well as by hitting that like button if you want to continue seeing the best tweaks of the week video and I'll continue doing that rather than you know doing a smaller separate video of a smaller single tweak now of course if there are larger tweaks I'm gonna be doing a full review of that but I just kinda of wanna get that out there and kinda of get the conversation going so I can know exactly what you guys wanna see but having said that let's go ahead and jump into the best tweaks of the week so the first tweak I want to show you guys is called Centrex. So you can see right here, if I pull up on the control center, it brings that iOS 8 style control center right there to your iOS 7 device. And this does it a whole lot better than the previous tweak that I showed you guys on how to get the iOS 8 control center. Now you can see right here exactly what it does and what it does better than the other tweak. It has those separators. So it has the lighter blur, the darker blur, and then the light, dark, light right there. So it actually separates those sections without having the actual lines, which looks a whole lot better and it's exactly what the iOS 8 control center looks like. And of course up here you have uh, your white toggles that means that they're turned on as you can see right there if we turn on do not disturb you get the white toggle and then right down here you have that nice dark blur on top of the lighter blur for those quick launch applications so I definitely recommend checking this out it's a free tweak just download install the first time that you actually pull up the control center it's not gonna have the separators just go ahead and dismiss it and then pull it back up and then it'll be there so definitely check out Centrex now another tweak that I want to talk to you guys about within the control center is called better CC sliders and you can see exactly what this does if you tap on the smaller brightness slider right there or the smaller sun you can see that it's actually dimming the screen now if I tap on the big sun it's going to brighten the screen now these increments that it's increasing or decreasing are set within the settings and I'll show you that here in just a second but not only does it work for the brightness slider but it also works for the volume as well as you can see right there if we tap that up it's going up 5% every single time and going down 5% every time of course if we jump into the settings here and we're gonna scroll down to better CC sliders open that up and then this is where you're gonna change your increment level so you can go from 5% all the way up to 100% so this is another free tweak, so definitely check it out. Next up, we have a tweak called Quick Yo. So if you guys are crazy enough to be using Yo, then you're probably going to enjoy this tweak. Now, I know a lot of people actually use Yo. I don't personally, and if you don't know what Yo is, it's a messaging tweak that only allows you to send the word Yo. So if you wanna ask if somebody wants to go out to eat, you say Yo. If you say, or if you're trying to ask if they're awake, you say Yo, and that's it. I mean, that's all there is to it. You add them, and then you tap on their name, and then it sends a yo to them. So you can see right here, this is actually me, Cody123. So if I tap that, I should get a banner notification right here, and it says yo. And then if I tap on it, that's what Quick Yo does. It allows you to automatically send a yo directly back to the person that sent it to you. So very simple tweak, even more simple than the actual app itself. But if you use yo, then I definitely recommend checking out this tweak. Next up, we have a tweak called Lock Screen Launcher. So you guys can probably guess what this does if we go to our lock screen. You can see that we have nine applications that are all customizable that you can set yourself to launch directly from the lock screen. Now you also have this little tab right here that you can tap on to either present those applications or hide them. So that's gonna be good when you have notifications right here on your lock screen. You can hide those applications and then bring them back if you need to. Now of course, if we tap on an app, then it's going to unlock the device and then go directly into that application. Now, of course, if you have a passcode, then you're going to have to type that in every time that you try to launch an app. This has no passcode bypass ability, so if you have a passcode on there and you tap on an app, you're gonna have to enter it. And it's very simple to set up, just tap on settings and then tap on lock screen launcher. You can show apps by default or you can toggle that off, so that just means that you're gonna have to tap that little tab in order for those apps to show up if you toggle that off. And then you just select your applications. When you change your applications, you will have to respring your device. So if we wanted to change one, we would just tap on the app and then change it to weather. And you can see right there, all you have to do is respring and then that's going to take effect. Next up, we have a tweak called Quick Folders. And what this does, the main functionality here that I use it for, is tapping and holding your finger on the folder and then quickly swiping over an app to open it up. So you can do this pretty quickly. So you just tap and hold, 
open it up just like that. Now, of course, you can just open it up and then tap on it. You can do that, but this is just a little bit nicer, just being able to tap and hold, and you can go into nested folders without ever taking your finger off the device. So you can see right here that we also have some other options that we can do. We have some gestures that we can enable. So make sure that you have enabled the quick folders tweak within the settings and then tap on options. And then right up here, you have a toggle for waiting for animation. I recommend having this toggled on and that's just because it's possible to get some glitches if you toggle it off. So right down here, we also have the gestures. So this is where you're going to set up all your gestures. You can swipe up on the folder icon to do a specific action. You can swipe down, left, right, double tap, single tap, and then you set your action right here. So swiping up on the folder icon is going to open up the first icon. Swiping down is gonna open the last icon. So let's give that a shot real quick. Swipe up should open up the Starbucks app. So we'll do that and you can see it's done so. If we swipe down, it should open up the last icon. So we'll do that and it's done so just like that. Now let's jump back into the settings here and you also notice swipe left is going to open up the second icon, or it should. I've had some issues with this. Also, swiping right should open the folder. That works fine. Now, single tap opens the nested folder, which has never worked for me. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Swiping left, try it again. And you can see it's just not working. It's not opening up that second icon. If I swipe to the right, you can see it opens up the folder just like it's supposed to. And if I tap on it, it should open up the nested folder within the folder. So if I tap on it, you can see it fades out and then fades back in. So there's still some glitches that need to be worked out for this tweak, but otherwise it's still a cool idea and I hope the bugs get fixed in a future update pretty soon. So let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. Also, don't forget to let me know if you guys want to continue seeing the best tweaks of the week videos or if you prefer the single tweak videos throughout the week. Make sure to let me know. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. All right, guys, until next time, peace.